Hey beautiful, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again. Let's get right into your reading. What's going on for the weekend for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Jupiter, Juno, Venus. Take this message as it resonates and as it applies, Aquarius. Roles could be reversed, so pop transpose. Let's get the most important message for the weekend. It's going to be a quick and general reading, okay? If you're interested in a personal reading, hit me up for, for that. <laughs> There's also links to the membership below, as well as the Miss C Tees and merchandise. Let's see. Spirit angels and ancestors, a clear and accurate message. What's going on with Aquarius for the weekend? What's the word for Aquarius? Love you the life, Aquarius. Mending is here. Some of you, you're going to find time to, I feel, clean up, fix something, Okay. You may pour into a hobby. There's also an energy here where you could speak with someone that you may have not been on the best terms with, but you'll have an opportunity to have a conversation is what I feel. Yeah, because I feel like somebody, you may have left someone out or somebody made you feel left out with the orphan card. Now, this could be a sibling, a child, or other relationship, okay? Okay. Let me just see something here. The number five to five may be significant. Somebody from the past, though, like I feel it's a sibling or a child or a past person. All right. Somebody, like I said, someone feels left out. There's also the energy of a number 57 or 75, okay? I feel like, yeah, that's what I'm getting, <laughs> okay? Let's see. Now, this person may have some good news for you, and maybe that's how they break the ice. Like, you know what? I'm starting, you know, I'm starting this business. I've gotten some real good feedback, like that kind of energy, um, they may even have some information up for you and vice versa. But yes, it looks like um, you're going to be potentially speaking with someone who you haven't spoken to in a while. TikTok is here. So I feel like perfect timing is at play here. Divine and perfect timing. You may have been at a stalemate with someone. That's also what I'm getting here. Oh, wow. Why? A change in the wind. And co-create. Okay. So there may be some type of question or inquiry that you've been wondering about, there may be something in the mist here. Or this could be like, well, whatever happened to XYZ, or whatever came about a certain situation, you may be finding out some information is what I'm feeling. Or vice versa, somebody's um, picking your brain, trying to find out some information as well. Now, I feel that somebody already knows the why. Why something, you know, went astray? Why something went array? Someone already knows this. They may be trying to course correct something like, you know, um, this is the real reason, okay? I also feel there's an energy here of working something out, working together, working together as a team. Something here is like that. Something like that is coming up as well. So I also feel that you could have a team of people come over and maybe help you fix something, help you repair something. Um, somebody may be looking at your car for you. Um, if there's an inquiry that you have about a car, you know, somebody may be telling you why your car is acting up with this energy here. I'm seeing a car, a vehicle a mode of transportation. Yeah. 
somebody's car may just not even be working and there could be repairs on a car, okay? When it pertains to your job, especially what you are working on as far as your endeavor, your business, I feel like there's somebody who can give you some help, okay? Or some type of leg up. Somebody may be exposing you to people. Somebody could be, I don't know, referring you, mentioning your name, um, or vice versa. Remember, equal energy exchange is also what I'm seeing here. So you could be doing this for someone and someone in turn is doing this for you or vice versa. But I feel this co-create energy. Um, I want to say, hold on. Change is coming. There's some money that's coming towards you. Okay, there's a successful outcome here. Um, if you need assistance or some type of help, speaking, um, speaking it into existence will help you. Okay, um, sometimes just mentioning what it is that you want, mentioning, um, speaking, okay, and watching the words that you speak, but being intentional about what your dialect is in regards to your work is going to really help plant the seeds, is really going to help with the frequency of bringing something into creation for you. There's also an energy here where somebody is tired of waiting, okay? They're tired of waiting. They're tired of being still. They're tired. Um, Spirit is saying you can write the story the way you want, all right? You do have to use caution with the co-create. You want to make sure you're getting into business or, you know, shaking hands or contracting with people who literally want to work with you and not take away from you, okay? But you can make moves. You can. It's... You know, also there's an energy here. If you're pitching what you your business is or you're pitching, um, I don't know, a sales pitch. If you're doing some type of business proposal or whatever, remember the why. The why is important. Why should they, um, you know, go into business with you? What are the numbers that you are projecting? Like, it's important for you to have the why. Okay, I feel like the why can can um, make it a yes or a no. I also feel the energy, as long as you're being honest and truthful, you can win. It may take some time for it to really pick up and go the way you want it to, but anything worth having is worth waiting for. Okay, there's somebody who's very wise who could give you some advice as well. Someone has um, the eye of like a seer. Someone is a seer. This could be your guides, okay? Some of you, you may have um, a, sp a specific bird as your spirit guide, an owl, a hawk, an eagle, a hummingbird, something like that, a sparrow. Some of you, you'll be surprised. Um, this conversation that you have. Because I feel like somebody misses you. They miss your voice. They miss hearing from you. Okay, even though there's also this energy here of like, why would I be talking to you if whenever we get, by the time we get off of the phone, it's something crazy that then took place. Or by the time I finish, you know, meeting up with you, something crazy took place. Even though that may usually be the case or... You know, however many times it has happened. Um, you might be pleasantly surprised. You may even receive some really good information. Okay? I do want to show you your overall energy here. It is the Queen of Pentacles and Peace. All right? The Queen of Pentacles and Peace. So, I feel that this is all about money, energy, currency, as well as friendship balance and harmony it's super important for you and so you are being protected you are being watched over you are blessed okay so you do want to protect your energy but you don't want to um 
you know, isolate yourself from the infinite possibilities that are available for you at this time. Let's see. Some of you, you can have two things working um, in tandem, okay? You could be going to work as well as like going to school. For some of you, there's some type of deadline here. If you have some type of certificate or if you've been gifted something, um, a coupon, for example, a Groupon, for example, or you've been gifted something, time is of the essence. There's like a deadline here, okay? So you want to make sure... Um, of that. I mean, today is Thursday. It's after 12 o'clock, but you know, tomorrow, which was Friday, um, maybe there's something that you can take care of before the weekend. For others of you, you may be, you know, in two minds of what you're going to do and you need the weekend to think about it. All right. Take it as it resonates. Take it as it applies. Let's see. What's the message here for Aquarius, please, Spirit? Yeah, services. Okay. So this could be um, a Virgo, a Taurus, a Capricorn that we're talking about, where you can have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in your, ch in your chart. I also feel this energy here that this person, they may need something from you or vice versa. Again, they could give you some really important information, but they're not going to give you everything. This person will mention something, and if you're asking why, remember when I said the why may be really important, they may give it to you, they may not. They may hold back some, okay, but they're going to give you an inkling. So you want to be careful to pay attention, you know, listen, okay? There's also an energy here where you may be donating, somebody else may be, roles could be reversed with clock chance pose, but I see you wanting to give something to somebody but you don't want to give a, a whole lot okay maybe you're just helping someone out um there's also this energy here where some of you you're going to be receiving some kind of money there's also an energy here where you could be your your services could be rendered and that could be really good it can help you pay off a bill or something like that okay or add to you know, add to the bank that you already have so that you can accomplish something, which is really good. Yeah, I do feel that you feel that uh, somebody is going to give you some some information, but not everything that you kind of need. Yeah, like I said, this is a person that you haven't really, um, you've been at a stalemate with, okay? And it could be a part of your family, your friends. Um, whoever this family member is. I feel that you will have some, you will have some laughs with this person. Okay. Like I said, they really want to hear from you for some reason. They've been waiting to hear from you. There's also an energy here where you've been waiting to receive some type of extra money so that you can take care of some type of repair so that you can take care of something that has been on the outs. All right. Something that hasn't been working. And I feel like you'll be happy when you receive this, this um, money is going to lift a burden. It's going, or this service, somebody may do you a service. It's going to um, lift a burden. You also have the two of cups. So 22 is super important. I also feel like you're reconnecting with someone, all right? Somebody may be like, hey, at another time, why don't we, you know, catch up in person? Okay, you could be talking to someone on the phone or you could be FaceTiming them or something like that. And it's like, um, this was really cool. Why don't we meet up? Why don't we have, you know, lunch, brunch, a drink or something? And remember, this could be anybody. It doesn't have to be only a family member. There could be a couple of different people here. All right. I feel like... <laughs> I was going to say that. 
I feel like you'll say yes or they'll say yes, whoever's doing this, will be like, okay, no, I have to take you in increments. I have to take this, you know, one step at a time. Okay, I also feel this energy here of forgiveness. Someone wants forgiveness, someone wants to mend defense. It's somebody from your past, definitely. It's somebody from your family or something like that also. You may feel like this person is very immature or you may feel like this person is hot and cold. Yeah, judgment. There's a second chance here or there's a call you're going to be on. You could be FaceTiming somebody. Now, um, if you are giving out information, you might not give out a whole lot because you may feel like somebody is trying to, you know, implement what or use what you are doing. And it's like you want to say something for yourself or something like that. Judgment, the double, yeah. Mm -hmm. The nine of swords. Yeah, that's what I feel. I feel like somebody has, you know, two sides. Okay. Somebody has two sides to them. Or you feel like they're flip-flop-ish. All right. Let's move into another energy. You also may feel that somebody promises things and they don't they don't usually keep their promise. They don't, you know, they may not mean to do it like that, but that's that's what they do. Okay? Let's see, what's going on with funds for Aquarius? What's going on with funds for Aquarius, please? Someone works nights, overnight shift, or someone's trying to find a job at night, a second source of income. But it's like somebody wants to find something that's more convenient for them as well. So it may have to do with travel, transportation, convenience and not inconvenience, right? Let's see. Somebody may also want to work from home, like a remote job as their side hustle or something like that, or they already work from home. We have the energy of gifts here. So you are uncovering new talents that will land you new work and a better position. You could gift, you could be gifted more money with this deal as well. Yeah. Some of you, you're looking for new work. Okay. And you may be gifted that somebody may refer you. Somebody may give you a leg up. Somebody may notice your talent, your gifts, your skill set. Some of you, you're going to school for a specific thing, which um, will allow you to get more money. It could be like you just, all you need is a licensure. All you need is a certification. All you need is this one thing, okay? And you're going to get it. So let's say, for example, you go... You know, you're been, you've been gifted, like I said, with a Groupon or a, um, some type of coupon to go to Udilimi or to go to some type of course, like bartending, for example. It gets you more money. It's, it's um, social, you know. You get to have fun. You get tips. You get more money. It helps you, all right? For others of you... You're going to get a new job, a new position, okay? Like I said, Queen of Pentacles is overall energy. This is about a cash infusion. It's also about discovering something about yourself with the white rabbit here. The white rabbit, that is a, um, it's like a dwarf planet or something like that that's happening in the um in the ethers as well in the cosmos look it up all right because i don't i don't remember all the information i don't have my notes with me right now but yeah something's going to take off what else is here so hold on don't to get discouraged is what i'm getting stay peaceful okay stay balanced stay you know connected to spirit god source 
if you find yourself going down like a little rabbit hole or something like that. Because, yeah, I'm getting the matrix just now. I'm getting the matrix. Remember when Neo had to follow the white rabbit? Okay? It's going to take you to another place, another timeline. All right? You are gifted. Okay? You're going to tap into other parts of yourself also. All right, but you got to chill. You got to be in balance. You got to stay connected to spirit God source. They will not lead you wrong. Yes, yeah, strategy. You may need a step-by-step -step plan of attack to reach the next level. Get advice for someone who is already where you want to go. Okay, so yeah, I feel like there's going to be some, this could be a marketing strategy. This could be a promoting like strategy, right? Marketing. This could be, you know, being at the right place at the right time. But, you know, having those conversations approaching. Remember the earlier message said, don't forget about the why. Okay. Um, this is you having foresight as well. Being an emperor, a boss, making plans, looking at the big picture and taking practical plans. It's about the long haul. It's not about, you know, the quick, the quick, um, I mean, yeah, I'm hearing somebody say, nah, I want quick money, okay? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, you know, it's like for the long haul. It's the long term. It's the long game that we're playing here, okay? There's also the energy of um, collaboration. Somebody's going to teach you something. Or you may be going to school learning different strategies on, you know, money market and things like that, all right? Investments, money market, where to... Um, invest your talents, your gifts, your skill set. Wisdom, yeah. Okay, so again, one of uh, somebody may have a spirit animal, just like a bird, a hawk, an eagle, an owl, a hummingbird. Some of you, you have this. Um, You are wise beyond your years. Your ideals are ahead of their time. But there's somebody else who can help you put the strategy together. Okay? Some of you, again, this is like, um, if you're good with numbers and you want to create, I don't know, an app about numbers, for example, but you need to know how to create an app. Talk to somebody, okay? Um, I keep getting that energy that... There's either a wise one around you, like a sage, an oracle, or you are the sage or oracle. You're wise beyond your years. You are called to serve as a mentor for someone or as a role model and guide who can show the way, use your wisdom and your experience. Some of you, you're a teacher. Okay, we just see the 22. Some of you, you're, you're straight up being called to be a mentor, a healer, um, a role model, a teacher. And uh, use your own experience and wisdom to help guide the way for others. Others of you, in the dark, your guides, they're giving you this information. Okay, there's something about in the dark. You're getting some type of information. You're getting downloads. You're getting intuitive hits. Timing. Again, divine timing and perfect timing is at play here. Spirit is asking you to stay flexible and adaptable. All right. Um, I was also getting that sometimes we know so much, but there's some things we still don't know. And so like-minded people come together and they build, you know, things that are like, whoa, out of this world, okay? Um, some of you are on that path. It's all in the timing right now. So it says pull another card to see if you need to do it now or wait a while or um, make a different decision. Let's see. I feel like it's up to you, okay? We have free will. I feel like somebody is at a stalemate, though. Power position, beautiful energy with the shield. Okay, you are being protected or called. You are being, well, I got protected from the shield with the crown on it. 
but you are being promoted or called to lead, it is time to step into your sovereignty and guide others with compassion. Some of you, you're being asked to act now with your wisdom, with your light. You may be feeling as though you need to have a step-by-step -step plan. For some of you, not all, there is, a, there is the energy here where you are in a position where you don't have to wait. You don't have to. You don't have to wait. You can take the lead. You are who you are. You're an Aquarius. You do things differently. You don't follow the book. You're the rebel. Okay? And so you're being asked to, you know, take your position. You are protected. Okay? For others of you, you're being asked to, you know, be observant of other people who may be walking in the direction or they're exactly where you want to be. You're being asked to converse with them, talk with them, and they can make power moves for you or teach you the ropes and you will learn more from these people. But you may feel like, I know this, but the timing is not right now. You know, it's different for everybody. Okay, it is different for everybody. Take it as it resonates and as it applies in your life. This wisdom card. Yeah, discernment. Queen of Swords. Discernment. Wise enough to know when to speak, when not to speak. Knowing who to tell, who to tell, who to talk to, and knowing who not to. Discernment. This could also be, um, you know, a rebel with a cause, someone who is very independent, someone who is um, wanting what's just and fair and right. Somebody who is fighting for a cause, someone who is like a union leader or someone who helps with protest and, you know, hey, that, that wasn't right. Like, this is what we can do. This is who we could talk to, like somebody who leads people, who gives service to people who have been um, done wrong, okay? Yeah, a mediator. And this is like a lawyer energy, okay? Yeah, the devil fighting the, um, fighting the good fight is what I feel here with the six of pentacles. Yeah, being of service of people who have been done wrong. Okay, somebody is being called to take a lead leadership position in a position where it's it's not, you know, it's not a glamorous position. Okay. With um yeah, the knight of wands and the queen of wands. This is somebody who um is courageous. <laughs> this is somebody who will get excited about the things some people wouldn't get excited about. You know, somebody who is like, nah, this is not right. This is not just. This is not fair. We're going to take care of this. I'm going to help you. Um, some of you, there's somebody here who's going to help you with some type of injustice. Somebody who's going to help you with a fight that you may, you know, you may be coming up against. All right. Somebody who is going to provide you services. Somebody who's going to give you money, show you where the money is, show you how you can get a loan, show you how you can beat the system, show you how you can have your rights, you know, show you that you get, you have the right to have what other people have, right? It's an equal give and take, like, it's like that, okay? If you understand what I'm saying, all right? Some of you are being called to do that in this lifetime. <clears throat> Let's see the next message here, please, in regards to love. So thank you so much for your, thank you so much for your donations, your cash apps, your PayPal donations. I want to say thank you so much to all of you who have donated. You have allowed me or afforded me the opportunity to get some new cards. And I'm super excited to use them this evening. Let's see what's going on. 
Ooh, when it comes to love, I'm leaving the ones that are reverse, reverse, because I feel like that's what spirit wants to happen here. Let's see, what's going on with love? Aquarius, what's going on in love, spirit? A clear and accurate message for Aquarius. Fear. Oh, player. Okay. <laughs> Somebody already knows the deal. When it comes to this player. Somebody has a sneaky um, or uneasy feeling. It's like a sneaky inkling is what I want to say. That somebody is fine as hell, but they are a player. They're charming. They're a manipulator. Okay. You may be being, I don't know, tempted. Yeah, it's a risk. Okay. All right. So this could be um, an Aries. Yeah, new love in the reverse. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, guys. Okay? I don't feel that this is the one for you. I mean, you don't. I see it right here. Plain as day. There's fear around this, this situation. Whatever the situation is, there's fear here. And anything that puts us in the energy of fear, anger, um, it's not good for us. Right? It's not. Okay? Now, I do see in the near future, there's going to be some type of change, some type of metamorphosis that you're going through. You're going to be acquiring trusted, supportive, loyal friends in the future, okay? After you go through some type of metamorphosis, all right? After you go through some type of change. But for right now, there could be somebody who... um. I don't know. It's almost like the honeymoon is over. Is also what I'm getting here for others of you. Take it as it resonates. And it won't be for everybody. But this is what's coming up today. If you have gotten involved with someone. Um, and you find that they are kind of have player tendencies. It's like you took a leap of faith. You're like, wow, I can't believe it. And now it's like the honeymoon is over. It's like it fizzled up and it fizzled down real quick. Okay, you're seeing their true colors for others of you. You already have an inkling that this person is either too good to be true. They're telling you what you want to hear or there's something about them. And you may be being tempted, though, because they're fine as hell. They may have a man bun. They may be tall. They may be light skin or they may be average height. They could be an Aries, a Pisces. I'm getting... Gemini. They could be a Leo or a Sagittarius. Let's see. Spirit, angels, and ancestors, a clear and accurate message, please, regarding this reading. For Aquarius. So the first card we have out here is the Six of Cups. Yeah, this is somebody you already know. Or it's somebody who re resembles the past. Like, it's a new person, but a new body, but the same tendencies, the same type of habits. It could be a Scorpio, a Cancer, a Pisces. Or you could have Scorpio in your chart, Cancer, or Pisces in your own chart. For some of you, this is like a Gemini, or it's the communication that you guys have. Yeah, this person is... Um, a fire sign could potentially be a fire sign. They lead with their follicle. It's like it started off nice and playful. There were texts sent back and forth from what to you. Now, if you um, told this person no, because they may have been quite blunt and honest with you about their situation and you told them, no, I'm not down with that. I'm not, you know, I'm a more... Um, monogamous type okay this person is not giving up they're still giving you a call with the page of wands they're still calling you okay yeah they're love bombing you 
You could be tempted. You may feel like, dang, this person is saying all the right things. And like I said, it's a new person that reminds you of the past for a lot of you. This is a new person you're meeting. But they remind you. After it fizzles up and fizzles down, so there's something about it. Like, they're either your type, okay? They look good as hell. They're your type. They're not... They're... It's the only way I know how to explain it. All right? It's a new person up. What else is here, please? We have the Ten of Wands. And we have the Queen of Wands. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody may even be telling you um, they've grown out of a relationship. You know, they have a relationship. They're telling you they have a relationship, but they have grown out of this relationship. New love in the reverse or true love or their love. They, they're they telling you that they've grown out of a relationship. They um, need change. You know, they realize they're in a toxic relationship. They're telling you something like that. Or roles could be reversed for flock chance poles. This is what you're saying. Okay. This could definitely be an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius here talking. That you're talking to. Or like I said, a Scorpio, a Cancer, or a Pisces is what I'm getting. Fire and water. They're not taking no for an answer. They're still going to contact you with the page of wands. They're very attracted to you. They like your giggle. They like your youthful energy. They like, they feel that you're attractive and they feel that you're like refreshing to speak to, to be around. They may be telling you that, you know, um, the relationship that they're in, it's um, ending. They just have a couple of little things to do to, you know, to completely sever the ties or that they're in a toxic relationship or that they're, you know, that they carry a lot of burdens in that relationship. Somebody doesn't, you know, understand them or they take them for granted. Whatever story they are telling you. They are still with this person. And they're not going anywhere. They've been with this person for a while. Let's see. Yeah, justice reverse. It's a karmic relationship that you will be getting involved in. It's not good for you. Okay, and with the Akashic Records, the library here, your guides are going to try to show you, tell you. Mm -hmm. Listen to your intuition. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, they see you as, like I said, you're refreshing, you're fine, you're beautiful, you're well put together, and they know that you're single. You may have given them some information like, I haven't been dating in a while, blase, blase, blase. They find you to be well put together, um... They may even feel like you can help them in some way. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Six of Swords reverse. Now, this person, you could have met this person in your travels. You could have met this person online. You could have met this person, you know, just in your everyday out and about shopping or whatever. Even if you tell them no, they're going to still call you. They're going to still try to reach you. They're going to still hold on to you. This person is in, mm -mm, they're, they're, they don't know how to say no. Yeah, but there's this energy here. The spirit is asking you not to fall for this because once you put yourself in this position, for some reason, it's very, very risky. Why is this here? Yeah, you're not going to be, you're not going to be um, satisfied. You're not going to be fulfilled. Okay, is what I see. Yes, yeah, seven of cups. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's going to be like it's a one night stand. It's how it's going to feel. 
What does this change? Because the Queen of Wands tells me that there's somebody else involved here. All right. <clears throat> there's also an energy here that somebody is selfish. Okay. They could be very much a manipulator. Because the full reverse says there is no fresh start. They're not, they're not, they're in a relationship. It's been there for a while. They may not be happy in their relationship, but it's their relationship. I also feel the energy that there's, um, there's, yeah, change. You're not going to be going, falling for the same type. Mm -mm. You're not. You're not going to be falling for the same type that you used to. You're not. You're not going to be getting on the same, the same cycle. There's going to be change that takes place here. Okay, is what I feel. You're looking for somebody more loyal. You're looking for a Queen of Cups energy. Yeah, with the um, Chariot, you're looking for this this stable, solid kind of relationship and a balanced, tranquil relationship. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes that sounds boring, but hey, it is what it is. That's what we're looking for. We're not looking for this karmic shit. We're not getting on another wheel. The wheel wanted to try to show itself inverted. Okay, but I feel like this is the change. The change that's taking place is that you don't want to get on karmic cycles. This is what you want. You want somebody who takes things slow, someone you can start out if it's a friendship with, or someone that you can get to know, someone who keeps their word, someone who's loyal, someone who says they're going to do what they're going to do, they do it. You know, somebody who offers a solid relationship that includes love, nurturing, kindness. All right. Um, someone who is spiritually attuned with you, someone who um, does not live like the past that you're used to, that takes you to a different timeline. This is what I have until next time. Please